Hello there, uh, <coughs> my name's Paul Cruz. Um, I'm bringing this to you on YouTube in reference to current changes in legislation to the government's feed-in tariff for solar panels. <coughs> uh, a little bit of background about myself, I'm 44 years of age, uh, married to a lovely wife called Susan. Uh, I have three children, a mortgage, so I'm very much like a lot of you um, out there. Um, there's been changes in legislation, uh, which I feel very strongly about, uh, which is why I'm not putting this on YouTube. Uh, first and foremost, I, I feel I need to give you a bit of background into what this is all about. Um, <clears throat> the government launched uh, something called the Feeding Tariff, which is a way for homeowners in the UK to generate uh, a strong return on investment by installing solar panels onto their properties. The scheme was launched in the first of, on the, sorry, on the 1st of April in 2010, which meant that if people was to buy the, these panels and put them on their roof, they would get and generate 41.3 pence for every single kilowatt of electricity that the system produced, and this would be paid to them via their energy companies. Um, the scheme uh, had been running, uh, and in fact, in April of this year, 2011, due to inflation, uh, the feed and tariff went from 41.3 to 43.3p. This is because the scheme is uh, index linked, will go up with inflation, and is tax free, and also uh, lasts for a term of 25 years. So, homeowners saw it as a, as a very good, as I mentioned previously, good sound way of investing into uh, their property uh, to generate uh, quite a good return on investment. Um, the scheme was set up in such a way that uh, there would be a review <coughs> of the feed-in tariff. Um, this was earmarked for April 2012, whereby um, myself and uh, many people working in this sector, in this sector knew that the feed-in tariff would be reduced. Uh, we all expected it to be a small amount, still incentivising people to continue with the growth of the solar industry and still make it worth their while to invest. Um, in the houses, House of Commons um, yesterday, 31st of October, strangely enough, um, Halloween, um, the government decided to bring the review date forward from the 1st of April 2012 to the 12th of December this year, 2011. Uh, on top of that, um, they also have slashed the feed-in tariff from 43.3 pence to 21 pence. Now, this dramatic change in their stance and what everyone was expecting to do um, will basically, I wouldn't say completely shut it down or close the, the the renewable energy business and solar panels, but what it will certainly do is put many, many people out of work. Um, so to, to give you some statistics, um, there is over 3,000 solar companies trading in the UK. Um, this is sourced from the government's own website, the MCS website, uh, which you can Google. Uh, it's uh, under the accredited installers list. And out of the 3,000 uh, solar companies, there is estimated 26,000 people currently working in this sector, making it the quickest and uh, fastest growing sector in the UK in business in the height of a recession. Um, so what is totally beyond me and my colleagues at work and many, many customers that I've been speaking to over the last two days who are absolutely outraged and shocked by the government's stance on this. My own personal views are that um, the big energy companies and also the banks um, are playing, if you like, with David Cameron and Nick Clegg. Um, and if Nick Clegg or Dave Cameron ever get a chance to see this uh, uh, video, um, I believe that you are being played and being played simply like puppets on a string. Um, the reality is um, they've put the pressure on you. Um, one of the reasons that I feel so strongly about for this is um, a comment on the Energy Saving Trust website, which actually does state 
that the government have done this to bring the returns on investments on having solar panels installed more in line with the bank's returns uh, to around 4%. Um, so this is why I feel that um, the government have taken this stance. The reality is that um, it's caused people in the UK to panic. Um, we and the company I work for have subsequently taken hundreds of phone calls over the last two days with customers demanding that their installation is completed by the 12th of December. Um, this is impossible to achieve. And as well as it's impossible for us, it's impossible for many, many other solar companies trading in the UK. Um, and for a lot of companies, um, it will cause them to go under and close their businesses down and putting many, many people in the UK unemployed. Um, and with the state of the economy as it currently is, how the government believe that they can justify this um, is absolutely beyond me and, and, and it's totally shocking. Um, so this is my views. Um, the last thing I would like to mention is it's a shame that our UK government uh, didn't follow the, the way that the German government done theirs, where they continued to run it over a number of years um, and 82% of homes in, in Germany now have solar panels. Um, realistically, our government has killed the solar industry dead. And um, I felt that it was something I should pass on to anybody that's interested in listening. And uh, thank you very much for your time.